The Viewwoods AI paper screen has really good contrast and I've been kind of playing around with different types of sketches on it. So I'll show you some of the sketches I've been working on, the kind of line shape snapping and stuff, and what the different tools are like for actually drawing. And the one I'll mostly be talking about is this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones that you guys had voted for out of the options I gave. So I'll talk about some different aspects of drawing on the Viewwoods AI paper in this sketch with different layers and whatnot. So in the first time lapse I'm gonna show you, I do apologize, my head was a little bit in the way sometimes, but they won't be for the next ones. But I did a light general outline of the characters and the kind of scene. Some of the really small details you want to get, like Donatello back here, was pretty hard to get really fine detail in there because I can't like pinch and zoom in. Raph's a little bit smaller here. He was fine to get details. And then Leonardo was easier just because he's a little bit bigger in, in the foreground of the scene. Here with the kind of hatching pens on the super note, you can really get, first of all, you can just get fine detail because of the actual ceramic tip. But then because you can zoom in too, you can see when I fully zoom out here. Then the next layer I added was the shading here. I did really enjoy the shading on here. I think it makes it easy just with the pen tool because you have five different kind of gradations versus like the remarkable, I think you only have three. Um, here you have actually on the pencil you get seven different shadings, but this doesn't have tilt support. So it is nice here. And with the Carta 1300, you can really dig in like, this was with the fine liner, I think. And this is just with the pencil digging in hard. And so you can kind of recreate that and get really good contrast. And some of the shape snapping, like these headlights, this little uh, red light here, um, and the spoiler back here on the van. Uh, were pretty easy to do with the line snapping or the like circle snapping where you can kind of just do it like that and then you can change it and you can make it like oval. Um, one thing I found hard was the double tapping like on the Remarkable. It doesn't work as well on this. It has a little more input delay or like takes a few more times to do. And then one thing I didn't really love was let me just show this layer. So this is just with the outline. And I was using the, let's see, the highlighter tool. So let's go to like a fine here. It's like, let's say I wanted to like make this sword pop a little. If I hold it, it'll turn into a line like that. Um, but then the other thing, and I'll show you this on the next drawing I'm gonna show you, 
but if I draw over, it does like the blending there and that just looks pretty bad in my opinion. But so when you want to like fill an actual shape, you have to make sure to do it quickly because if you hold, it'll shape snap, but then just do it like quickly like that. There. So that's okay. Um, like here, I, if you notice on this layer, I did it. Let's hide this one. Sorry, let's hide this one. And let's show this one. I did it like twice over here. Sorry, it's holding upside down. I did it twice over here, so it gets some like a little bit of blending and it looks not bad, but because you can't control the color of the highlighter, like the t tones of gray, I didn't enjoy it the most and the blending wasn't that great. Yeah, that's my analysis of the tools on the turtles drawing. And then let's go here. I did a couple layers here too. This is where the shape snapping was really cool because so I could create the proportions of the head very easily and then just blend layers on it. Something I used to do, love to do in like algebra calculus class and stuff. Um, I was just playing around with thickness of the different lines and seeing how the Carta 1300 really pops like this. And then this is a house drawing I was working on. So again, the highlighter tool, like I was mentioning right here, I had to be very aware to like get these in one swoop. I think here I messed up a little bit, um, but then here I was actually able to like miss parts to have it kind of get like a little stone texture, which was neat. Um, for the line snapping, this was great and creating the little lights here. So yeah, really cool. And then I showed this in uh, my last video, I think, but so with the AI tool, analyze content. The image features characters from a well-known franchise likely depicting a scene involving anthropomorphic turtles. Here's a breakdown of the content. Characters. The central figures are all likely the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Each turtle character appears to have a distinct feature such as colored masks and weapons. It's probably just pulling metadata from this. So actually it's cool. When I think when I had just drawn like Leo and the little guy here in the, the first time lapse, it actually was like, it appears to be fighting a mechanical thing due to that. And like it even mentioned this thing in it, which was, was kind of neat. So yeah, the, the AI feature, I'll probably do a separate video on like how useful it actually is, but I've found it more cool than anything. Um, but I think I'll, I'll try to find some uses for it. Filling in shapes does look kind of cool. I think books can do this like just a tap fill, which I wish they would add as well. And then for a car that I was starting, it's cool to be able to have the wheel sizes, copy, and then uh, scale it proportionally. But yeah, I've enjoyed it. Probably give it like an eight out of 10. And in the e-ink world, this is probably like a nine out of 10 right now. So I, I like it a lot more than the Remarkable for drawing. We'll see about the Remarkable Paper Pro. I should get that soon. Also, I do apologize for my setup right now. I'm traveling, so I don't have the best uh, camera setup right now. But in the case here, there's a little thing right here, and there are two extra tips. But uh, yeah, I've been using the hard tip more here because it lasts longer, and I only have two of the soft tips. But those two are better for drawing. They give it a little bit more grip, but it's still doable with this tip. I still think I prefer Atelier a little bit, but I do find some of the smart shape snapping very useful in the actual V-Woods AI paper. And I do really like the contrast. It makes the blacks and whites pop a little bit more and you just get a little bit more of that gradation change. And I do still prefer the pens of the Supernote platform because I get that fine point control. And the ability to like zoom in on this or the Remarkable I think is really nice. And hopefully that's something that the V-Woods will add soon. They are pretty regularly pushing software updates, but this is a prototype in general. It's pretty enjoyable. Anyways, if you want to check out the Carta 1300 screen, I talked about this in a video a couple weeks ago. So I'll link that up here for you. And uh, thanks for watching.